可有人去知？你睇下佢估唔估到係邊個國家咩種酒 ？Live 佢真係唔知係咩嚟㗎，淨係一齊睇。And we're just gonna say that we started with it just so I can do a little bit of while we were waiting for our live to go on. And then we're gonna do um. When we cheers, we can cheers the glass, but not the bottle, and we're gonna make her guess. Don't show it! Don't show it! Yet. Of course. Okay. okay. Do you have it in a Do you have it in a glass already? Oh, perfect. Okay. 今日好開心啊！今日我有朋友陪我啦喺呢邊啦，同埋同一時間咧，我有朋友喺英國喎 ，join 緊我哋。而家係比較早嘅 ，it's nine a.m. right? Nine a.m. over there. And so here, wow. Okay, we're gonna turn that volume. Up. This is so that we can see the comments coming from fans right away. I can't read them. Hi, I will. I can. Okay, here we go. So, 大家早晨俾佢啦 ，and then good afternoon from our side. So we kind of started first. I just want to say thank you for joining us. You know, it's very early. This is Dimitri. Dimitri, say hi to everyone. Hello, everyone. Nice to meet you. Around the world. And, and this is Yvonne. Yvonne is joining me in Hong Kong here, and they actually know each other. So, yeah. But before we get there, we have a cheers first. We started yeah. without you. I'm sorry. Okay, it's been really crazy. <laughs> so we started with a. But, but but that started without you as well. So it's okay. Oh, that all. Now, this one is a Kinti Pinot Noir, 2012, from Casablanca Valley. So, why do you say that? Because Yvonne Gishu came with this. Look at all this. So she's concerned that I don't I don't eat enough. Look at this. She has a charcuterie plate, and she got it arranged for us. I'm sorry, you don't get any either yep. from our no. house. So and you can also take this out. So everybody support our local restaurants and businesses. Please order more takeout. And this is perfect for snacking. Um, it's good for dinner. It's good for I would eat this for breakfast because I've got fruit. I've got the <laughs> fruit. I've got the cheese. I've got the meat and the bread. This is a full on breakfast. <laughs> Okay, yeah. That's all for you. And no, no, Kohoya Sam, she's been really good because I can't have cow cheese. So she arranged some cow cheese for the crew, which we'll share with you guys. But she also arranged goat cheese for me. So you know she's a keeper. She's my, she's my keeper. Okay, well, um, Dimitri's like, I don't know what to say about that, right? Okay, and we are in this beautiful cellar here. It's actually quite cold. I don't know why she can be in a t-shirt. Um, but <laughs> so Dimitri, today's special talk is about Courts of Master Sommelier, CMS. Now, hold on, then. So, uh, what is it? Right? What is a sommelier? Well, Dimitri is actually the chairman now here. I mean, over there in London, and actually, <laughs> she actually tried out for two. Yvonne is actually going through the process, and I've never done any of it. So, we've got like professional, we've got like advanced, and we've got like beginner. I'm literally so all three. So, people have questions to ask about what is a sommelier. Why don't、um, Dimitri you start telling us a little bit about it first? I mean the the, the court the court of master sommelier is an educational organization was established in nineteen nineteen seventy seven in order to encourage and improve the standard in, of the beverage industry. So really, we are trying through through our education through our different exams. It's a process, and you enter with the first exam with the introduction. And 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 it's to you know better yourself to a certain extent to be able to reach the MS level、uh, with a, with an exam with based on the on three different parts one with a, a testing one with a theory and one with a practical so the exam is really designed for people working in the beverage industry and and really people who, when they start work on the floor because that's I mean there is not a lot of I mean there is we are the only organization who offer a practical exam. So, so if it's somebody like me who like I know that CMS has four levels, right? So there's the introductory level, then there's the certified sommelier, and then there's the advanced sommelier, sommelier,、yeah. and then then MS, which is the master sommelier. Now, somebody like me who I'm sort of like I grew up in the restaurant business, but say I'm I'm in the entertainment business, but I want to know a little bit about how to host a dinner. Would that be Something I could do, like the introductory level, because it's pairing stuff too, right? 
Yes, of course. I mean, like, like I said, it's really designed for, for people who work in the industry, who work on the floor. So in comparison to another exam, I mean, it's one of the questions I think people will want to ask, you know, what's the difference between MW and Master Sommelier? I think Master Sommelier, it's a, it, it's, a, it's a broader sort of knowledge because you go through in terms of theory, in terms of theory you go through the region, you go through, you go through uh, the vineyard, the vineyard work who goes on over there, but it's broader in the ways and the, the, it's not only the aspect of wine, it's the whole aspect of the beverage industry when you work on the floor. So it incorporates sake also, it incorporates, you know, uh, other alcohol, other beverages, it incorporates also cigar. So, so it's, it's, it's a slightly different sort of, uh, of, of concept. We talk a lot also about producers, about, you know, top cuvées from all over the world to, to, for people also to have references. The MW, it's, uh, it's, it's, it's much more academic, if I, if I could say, and it's probably more sort of a, uh, targeted to people who want to work in the wine trade probably more as a buyer or as an analyst or as a writer or as a journalist that, that, that will be the main difference the MS has got a practical element then if you've never worked in a, in, in, in a restaurant room then it'll be very difficult to be able to achieve the MS because you need to have those sort of standards at the same time you just said Dimitri there is a difference like MS is the master sommelier like Bindzhou 因為都是品酒啦,中文的。But Master of Wine,所以他說他說的MW一樣的。他覺得一個是比較,譬如,學多一些讀書多一些,一個就是讀書多一些,一份工作。For somebody like Yvonne, um, did you know you wanted to do this? Like, how would you know you wanted to be a sommelier? You just woke up one day or you came out like five <laughs> you're drinking your milk and you're like, oh, this milk is... <laughs> like, <laughs> that would have been a great story to tell. <laughs> um, no, uh, I, I, I sort of fell into it. But I think the, the great thing about, um, you know, about the MW and the MS programs, it's really about perpetuating the beverage industry. It's really about, it's not just about education, but it's about, um, um, you know, continuing a, a global business that um, really drives culture, that really drives um, study, that drives, I mean, this is, this is a, this is, um, it's not just alcohol too. So like sommelier, I know that when I was judging one of the problems just, you have to do tea, like temperature, and serve, so, so, yeah, oh, yeah oh, you can go down one. so many rabbit holes. Um, <laughs> but it's, uh, I mean, it's like, it's like everything, I think the MS and the MW, even if you know, they are different in terms of what, what's required, it's a question also you know, to, to better yourself. So when you are in the wine industry, when you are passionate about, about something, about a product or an industry, you, you need to have certain structure to be able to guide you, to be able to reach the next level and to better yourself. And I think those organizations, being the MW or the MS organization, that's what they are offering. It's for people to have a structure depending on what they want to do in life. And it's what I said, you know, if you take the testing of the MW, for example, it's a writing exam. And, and what's required about, about, uh, about their testing, it's really to understand the wine and, and to sort of uh, having an analytic sort of uh, thinking on, on, on what sort of vinification they do, why do they do that because the wine comes from certain around those sort of things. For the MS, the testing, it's oral, it's completely different. You've got six wine in front of you. And really what, what, what you need to do is to get as close as you can uh, of, of the wine. So you have to, uh, you have to analyze you know, where the wine is coming from, what region, what year, uh, and, 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 and that's what's required. So the, the sort of uh, the beginning of the, the beginning and the vision of it, it's completely different. Well, how did you know? And, and, and it's about bettering yourself. It, it's about bettering yourself. It's about, you know, reaching the, the next level. I mean, I'm sure everyone will agree, you know, in life, if you don't have goal, then you can, you can become very lethargic and, and you don't progress. So it's important, you know, to have those sort of, uh, of goals to be able to, to push yourself forward. But, but how did you know you wanted to be a Somalia? Like, I think a lot of people just like, how do you know that that's what you wanted to do? 
As, as I mean, me, I mean, you will, uh, you will realize from my accents and uh, I'm born in France and from the Loire Valley. My, my, my family originally lives not too far from Sancerre, from Quincy, we are from Quincy exactly, with a very small white wine appellation. Wow. And, and so I've, I've, I've been brought up, you know, with wine around me. My uncle was a, was a producer of wine in Quincy. My father was not in the wine industry, but had a great cellar. He had about, I mean, for, for a French person, he had about 2,000 bottles, which is not, which not enormous, but it's a good amount for a private person. So I've always been surrounded by it. After, it's often, you know, life, it's, it's, a, it's funny. It's sometimes, you know, meeting the right people at the right time. I was, I was working in the catering industry. I, I, I met one owner of a restaurant. I was doing a season during a summer who was passionate about wine. He thought that I had an interest. So each time he would go and buy wine or go and visit the winery, I would go with him. And I was 18 years old at the time. So and then from there... Sorry. 好好好自然地咧，就因為佢喺法國出世啦，咁佢喺屋企咧附近都有好多田，好多葡萄啦，咁佢覺得係一個好自然。I'm just translating a little bit, like for you, it's a natural process, and where you brought because France, 嗯，咁佢覺得好自然入呢行內，佢屋企屋企人都有釀酒嘅，嗯，即係二千幾樽啊嗰啲話，佢 uncle 都係有。咁但係你咧，咁你又你又唔喺法國出世㗎。No, so um, I grew up in California, uh, slightly different. And also <laughs> with family that was not involved in, in wine, a um, oh. traditional Chinese family. <laughs> uh, but I'm the youngest, so um, I managed to uh, kind of find my own way. Had to be different from the other ones, you know. Um, but I, but I, you know, I was studying in university for completely other things. But I've always worked in. In restaurants, I've always liked cooking. Even as a little kid, I always asked my mom, you know, can I cut the tongue? Um, can I stir the pot? Literally, not figuratively, maybe. <laughs> and, uh, and then, um, yeah, even while I was going through university, I was working in restaurants. Um, and then at one point, um, I was working somewhere. I was working in I was working in LA, uh, which is where I went to school, and. Um, Someone said to me, Do you, "Did you know that some people can smell a glass of wine and tell you what it is, where it's from, what the weather was like that year?" And I said, "I'm not allowed to swear, right?" I said, <laughs> I said no, "No way." And then I said, "That sounds really hard, and I want to do that." Oh. Um, but 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 really, it's also working in in beverage. It's about service. I really want to stress that it's not. It's not about. It's not about like what we want for other people. It's really about um, like sharing what we learn. What we learn from our guests. Um, working in the hotel business now for hotel and restaurant business for almost twenty years. Um, that's still the. That's still the end result. It, it's. It's about you know making people happy um, and sharing what we learn and what we what we gain and bringing it to a to a table. So. Hey, story is just different. Ah, his story is he in the United States, very small, very different from our Chinese family. But but he is also because he likes to eat food. Um, but how did he get there? Like, how did he get into the sommelier industry? Because I think he was always interested in wine. Because I think he was always interested in wine. Because I think he was always interested in wine. Because I think he was always interested in wine. Because I think he was always interested in wine. Because I think he was always interested in wine. Because I think he was always interested in wine. Because I think he was always interested in wine. Because I think he was always interested in wine. Because I think he was always interested in wine. Because I think he was always interested in wine. Because I think he was always interested in wine. Because I think he was Liquid this diet, is liquid diet. No? Yeah, <laughs> yes, liquid diet. But this is um, it's about balance. It's about texture. It's about flavor. It's about things that that bring you pleasure. And I I think of uh, I think of I think of wine as as a version of food as well. Um, but once you kind of make all things equal, I mean, you you study something like cheese. You study you study the history of you know a birico ham. You study all these things, and there's there's something that connects them, and it's it's where they're where they're from, where they're grown, how they're appreciated, what stories and families you know come from these from these products and these places, and that's really what what it all is. And for me, you know, I studied anthropology, so I'm very very passionate about language and culture. Wow. And so this is this is all it all ties together for me. A me totally different reason why. <laughs> so I didn't start wine until about ten years ago, and then my wine that I was producing because it was. Happened here. I was actually filming, and we got snowed in, and we couldn't film in Vancouver. So then we took the three days, went to Napa, and you know at that time I wasn't in a relationship. I was like heartbroken, 
And then little stories in Napa are so, don't laugh at me, I saw you laugh. <laughs> because the, the little stories, they're kind of like, oh, give you hope, you know, puppy love and like the 1970s. And my real passion is in chemistry. So I really, because I was going to school for, for pre-med when I first went, totally not in the food industry at all. And then um, how I came about it was because the wine started winning awards and I didn't know how to, to translate it or, or how to talk to people. People would ask me, oh, so tell me a bit about your wine since it's award winning. And I couldn't. So for me, I'm kind of similar to you. I like the challenge. So then I went to go and study. And that's when I went and got my W set. One, two, three. You know, and, and that's a question. That's why I was asking you. So what do I do? Because I've seen the map. So I know Thai Guala. You have W set. So I have CMS. Okay, so how do you have some yet? But then you can either go upward to the level four or go straight forward to CMS one, two, three. And I didn't really under, like, get that. And I, and I love what you say is at the end, it's an education. No matter if they're two different systems, at the end, everybody's just coming together to learn something, to share. And it's not, like you said, it's about the story, right? And that's what I love about this whole wine industry, wine community. And it depends what you want to do. You know, it's, it's really, you know, what path you want to take, you know, in, in, in this industry and, and, uh, and, and where, what you want to achieve, you know. It's, but you always say, you know, What's really interesting about uh, about wine and, 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 and those those or educational organization? I mean, that's the end. The end product is very interesting. Is, is I mean, this is the goal for a lot of people. But I always say, you know, what's make it also interesting is the journeys and you enter is the journeys and you take and along the way, it's all the people you are going to meet who are also going to become your friend. And that's what the wine industry is. Also, you know, it's a very, we always say, you know, it's a very small world. You said earlier, we know each other with Yvonne. I'm based in London. I mean, I travel for work quite a lot. So I come to Hong Kong, you know, a few times a year. But we, it's, it's also a small industry. And that's what makes the industry also quite nice. Yeah. And, and, and while on this topic about, you know, uh, you do come to Hong Kong a lot. How is this COVID affecting you? I mean, I, you know, because of COVID, I can have Yvonne here with me because, she, you know, the restaurants have to be closed after six. Um, you can only order takeout. Um, in a way, you know, a, a lot of industries have been hit quite hard. The wine industry, food industry. For you, like, how is it over? I mean, I mean London, right? So. The, 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 the COVID has been, a, has, has been horrific. I mean, and with the board, we are, we are working very hard to try to maintain and develop pos positively the exam. So we are looking at also, you know, how, we are going, how the exam has to adapt, you know, to the whole situation at the moment. Mm -hmm. we've, 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 uh, we've planned some, uh, some courses in Europe. I mean, we have to monitor, you know, the situation on a daily basis because, uh, because it's complicated, you know, people can't really travel. Some, some countries, you know, don't allow travels and you've got to quarantine. So, so it, it's, a, it, it, it's a difficult period. We have to adapt. There is no doubt about it. But, uh, and, 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 and what's, what's very sad at the moment, it's a lot of people in our industry also, you know, restaurants are closing down, people are losing their job. Uh, it, 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 it's complicated, but we are in a beautiful, uh, we are in a beautiful uh, industry. I'm very optimistic also because that's not the end of the restaurant era. You know, people will still want to go out, will still want to, to, to enjoy, you know, a moment outside with their family, with their friends. They, they like the attention, they like the experience, you know, what we create also in restaurant and, and hopefully us, you know, as sommelier as uh, being part of the beverage industry, it's, a, it's an emotion. And, and that you have to go and meet people, and, and, and that's the beautiful part of our industry. But it's been it's been a, it's, it's been horrible to it's been horrible. As, I think you know what's hard it's uh, is seeing you know people who are struggling during uh, those difficult times. So yeah. Um, and while the restaurant business is, is been affected, and I mean, I love the fact that we can still communicate in a sense that like I mean it seems yeah. like even the world is getting closer because of this now that we can do this. I mean. We have to fly different time zone. You have to come over here, but right now we're doing this at the same time. So that guy, mom, join one of the guys. So that, so you, me, I got bang. I, you have no choice. I got to yum sick. Ah, so okay, guy. So it's getting a little. I think because the air conditioning. Because we're inside the cellar and we open the door, and so they've got to make sure that the wine stays cold. Because I think with opening the door, the temperature goes up. So as you can see, we are actually in a cellar, so it's quite cold, guys. Um, and so today, 
we 你大家有冇搞笑？我同英國嗰邊咧就叻愛嚟玩佢嘅 ，OK？ So we're gonna do this. So I just want to say shout out to Teresa. Hi, there she's in France. Say hi to my brother. They're in、um, Beijing. I see some people that said hey from Vietnam. We've had a lot of people from Vietnam. I think a lot of people are interested in just learning a little bit about wine. So, 今日係第一次試嘅 ，OK？ 係試佢嘅 ，OK？ 佢 so she doesn't know what we're opening, right, Dimitri? Fist bump. <laughs> Love it. The first one we're gonna do. Glad is... I can entertain everyone. Yes. <laughs> 嗱，大家，我第一支就係咁樣嘅。係咪呢個 ？Yeah. No. 呢個第一個 ，OK? So I've already poured a bit in her glass. Evidently, I'm the only one in the building who doesn't know it. Yes, she's the only one. 佢唯一一個唔知。嗱，我同阿 Jimmy 住可以 share 先啦。Share 先。Santé. Santé. 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 嗱。佢唔知係咩嚟㗎啦，連個上面咧。So why did we have to pull all the way up here? Because she's too smart. She'll know by just the foil on top. Okay, some of them are really, really smart because they know their wine so well. We have to pull this all the way up here so she can see the top part of this now. Oh dear lord. 我哋而家係逼佢估。Okay， 大家佢真係唔知啊。佢唯一一個唔知啊，連 cameraman 都知道曬嘅。Okay. So excited. You you may have some cheese that you brought、Why、for me <laughs> while、oh, we're waiting. Now that I'm really on the spot, haven't haven't done this because I haven't sat for an exam in quite some time. How is it? This is part、that. of the exam. Yeah. Hello. Okay. So for either WSI or CMS, actually blind tasting is part of the exam. I'm rusty. So in the in the、uh, in the MS exam,、uh, you、uh, you have six glasses of wine, and you basically have four minutes and ten seconds on average. Across six classes, so you really need to. You have six minutes. 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 Six Identifying. Oh my, how about that? Okay, so I'm learning too. I want to know what it's about too. I haven't taken it yet. I haven't even taken the introductory. So I'm I'm asking all the questions like a newbie as well. Like if I really want to know, can I do it? Is it a lot of pressure? Because I'm at level three now. So、oh, I'll be set. So I'm thinking level four and then go or like you know. Okay, okay. So I, 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 What is she doing? So everybody who's watching, the first thing she did while I'm talking, she like put a white piece of paper on the table, okay? And then what does she do? She goes and do it. Do what? Look, being a judge, what? Being guy, why? Why do you do that? Um, I just want to see the color. You know, sometimes looking at a wine will tell you a lot. Um, as you know, red wine gets a little bit um lighter with age, and white wine gets a little bit darker with age. So sometimes just by looking, you might you might have a guess. Um, also, sometimes if someone is blinding you and there's lots of bubbles in the wine, then it's probably a sparkling wine.、Um, you can also tell sometimes uh, um, if there's a big color variation from the outside of the glass to the inside of the liquid.、Um, you can see、uh, it's, it might be an indication of age. There's lots of different things you can see.、Um, if you have a very kind of viscous, it's like it coats the glass a lot. It could be a sweet wine, or maybe it has a lot of alcohol because glycerol、um, will give that sort of、um, a, like a, a more viscous quality in the wine. So there's lots of things. I was just taking a peek. 大家听唔听得明佢做紧咩嘢？佢已经讲晒成个过程，又佢一攞个杯嘅时候咧，好似考紧试咁。佢一嚟摆个白色杯喺呢度睇，系睇个颜色噶。咁佢有好多唔同嘅原因元素会去估系点解呢个色啊？点解佢？有啲咧就話可以掛杯啊，佢佢有好多唔同嘅原因嘅。咁我哋俾佢考先。Okay, continue. So I'm just going to tell you now that this is a red wine. I hold it. Okay, skip on that one. Hundred <laughs> percent. And actually,、um, Dimitri is the、uh, is the master here.、Um, and if if you wanted to give some comments about about sight before we do, you know, nose and palate. 
No, I think I think sight. I mean, you've 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 mentioned you know what what it can give. I think it's uh, you look you look also at the density also of the wine. You know, at, at, at uh, the color of the wine because that can indicate you know you've got a grape and and on red grape variety who have got thicker skin or lighter sort of skin, and that will give you a sort of a, a concentration element of the color. So if the lighter the color is, uh, the, the thinner very often the, the skin of the grape will be, and, and, and that will correspond to a certain category of grape variety. And the darker it will be, or the, uh, it can also give you an indication also on, the, on vinification techniques that can be used who can give you, for you, a sort of a sense of where the wine also can come from because certain area will produce wine in a certain way and other area will also produce wine on, a, on a, another way. So that's what it will give you. But I think, I think you, are, you explained it very well. Okay, you're way over four minutes. Yes. Four minutes over. Now, you two have to talk too much. You're not familiar with it. You're not familiar with it. It's really a process. I'm just saying that... Once these professional people get into it, it becomes very technical, right? And but it's really, really experience, and really is hot. Then you can get it to the point where you can ask, why can't you read the juice? Why can't you see the leaves? Why? Because it's really a process. It's like 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 a process. But the, the structure, the structure, the structure of the blind testing, it's, it's uh, having an organization, which is very important, but it's also creating a database of information inside of your head. Mm. And, and, it's, and it's often about memory. And that's what the blind testing is. So it's always say, you know, it's not taking the glass, looking at the color, smelling it, testing it and saying, okay, this is a wine. It's more the process, it's more the analytic process of starting very open and often on saying this is, this is, you know, that can't be this because of that, that can't be this, you know, to, it's like the phenol, it's like the phenol effect to arrive to the, the product it will be. That's the way of thinking. So um, I know that not everyone has this wine in front of them. Right. You can't, you can't smell it. I'm sorry. I just want everyone to share this process. So you can try this at home, guys, with your wines, just looking and, and, and smelling and Gun fan ya Yvon gone got the Jiggy Boon case that it's but let's see what Yvon will go easy. What what country? <laughs> or or like But well I think um also this is not an exam today. No, no so don't, don't try this at home. We're, we're, <laughs> we're just gonna talk about it. I'm I'm greeting you, Ivan. <laughs> <laughs> Alright, we make a deal. When I when I'm actually sitting <laughs> sitting for my exam, we'll we'll do it for real then. <laughs> Today is just like surprise. Here's, yes. here's so my guy who wrote them, DS. I hope that's very unfair on you. But um you know, obviously wine is made from or well yeah, wine is made from grapes, so there's always gonna be an element of fruit, but it's really interesting to um mm. to then examine what kind of fruit you have. Is it is it fresh fruit? Is it ripe fruit? Is it dried fruit? Is it red or black fruit? Um, in this case, for a red wine, for a white wine, is it you know is it ye is it like a yellow peach versus a green apple? Right, there's lots of different uh, lots of different profiles. Uh, for me, on this one, um, this is a combination of kind of like a, like pomegranate, uh, red cherries. Um, there's also like a a spicy quality to it, uh, kind of um, like cloves and. A little bit of char. I think there's some, there's some oak in there probably, um, but it's not. Um, this one tastes really good with this but part of my sugar. Cookie. Yeah, but it's like it's not like luscious cake kind of spices. It's a little bit more like grill, grill spices for me. So it kind of gets a little bit more. I don't want to get into like crazy detail now, but um, this has I think spent some time. Um, in the company of some wood. I'm saying I'm technical, lah. Just grooming or gawker. Just snap in a barrel somewhere. Yeah. Hey, hi, Alice. Shout out to Alice. We've got some friends. Um, we've got some food industry friends in here. Oh, fun. Um, so Alice is uh also been uh she's also uh certified sommelier for Hong Kong Greater China, and um she does the superstar seafood group restaurant group. So Chinese, Asian food, Japanese, I have. Okay, are you gonna get- A very nice sort of, uh, 
red red plum sort of uh, character. We're not going to get to the third wine, man. Oh, sorry. <laughs> not you. Her. She's going to get me the. She's got to give me the country. How about I'm just going to drink it. You just gonna, You're not going to open it. Well, you have do you to wanna, guess. Dimitri, do you want to call the country? He knows the country. I mean, me, I know what it is. <laughs> I think it's old world. I think. Okay. Thing. Right. I think. Uh, <laughs> think where I'm from, even. <laughs> it's old world. Like, oh, uh, yeah. Sun side guy, not old side guy. But Guja is old side guy. Think I'm wrong. The part. Um. Yep. Uh, I think that uh, so we're in old world. So yep, we're in Europe. Um, and I'm also guessing that because I find there's like some tannin structure in this. It's not like a this is not like a soft floral fruity pinot. This is a little bit more um, angular. There's some more. This is a floral pinot, floral fruity. Ah, because this is a wine that is not fruit. Now it's saying that this is not a wine that is definitely this kind of fruity, with a little bit of smoke. I think I think I think you are doing very well. What what vintage? Is it a young vintage or an older vintage? And then you can you can show all the wine. Okay. Wow. See, very good. He guessed the year. Then I can open it. Okay. He doesn't guess the price. Among the many among the many things that I'm terrible at, um, that includes vintage. <laughs> But um, what is old and what is new? But you know what I said earlier about um, this showing like more spice and. I don't think this is like a super young wine. I don't think this is something that looks like straight bottled. But I also think this wine has a lot, some more time to it. Um, the structure is really lending to uh, to a longer life. But we're gonna go. They love this jacket. I mean, that's great. That that's what that's what I wanted because often people, when they try wines, they never think of the different phases of the evolution of wine. And that's why I was asking. And I think the way you answer was perfect for me. Because when you say, you know, when you get those sort of a spiciness coming through, it's what we call, you know, the sort of the secondary phase of the wine, which is important. And that's why I asked the question was not to trick to trick you. But I think the answer is perfect because that's something that people, you know, don't sometimes realize. And the wine, I mean, wine is a is a, is a new life product, so there is also an evolution. And that's why you always say when you talk about wine, you know. The memory of the past are not uh, the best wine of your past. Are not going to be the, the best wine of your future sometime because the wine has got also an evolution. So the wine evolved inside of the, water, the, the bottle and change, and, and and that's important. So that's, that's, that's great. Because 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 that's 你陣間，你哋大家可以睇翻，你就會明佢即係一路試緊，一路講嘅時候，佢再飲第二次、第三次咧，其實已經有變化。OK， I'm gonna open， so I'm gonna say somewhere between fifteen and twenty years。差唔多，我冇 clearly clearly wrong， but not not all much。I'm okay with being wrong。Are you ready？ May I take？ Yeah， I'm ready. I'm ready. Can I take your socks off？ Da 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 da。佢話佢話 ，fifteen very close 啊 ，twelve years， so it's twelve years， two thousand and eight or seven。啊 ，two thousand eight， what a， you know this vintage is like it's。You see， I've got the same at home。Better and better。Yeah， so we share the same， so this is what you know he arranged so that we have the same glass together， we're sharing the same glass together， and and that way， 呃 ，it it brings us together more， like 好似大家一齊 share 呢樣嘢。Right. So this one, actually, you said right. She actually said a lot of the characteristics, which are round. Very, uh, it's very ripe. You know, it's tannins, blackberry, spicy. I remember you said the spicy. It's like thing. I want to see thing, thing. And this is why don't you tell us why you you shared this bottle with us? Because it's a great, it's a great property. It's a property now I work for also. So it's a uh, sentimental for me, and and it's it's a uh, one of those great estates. And you've got in a uh, in Saint Emilion has been a sleeping beauty. Uh, was bought in 2003 by the Jackson family, and we are right at the end of the Côte de Pavie. It's probably one of the best, one of the better part of producing wine in Saint Emilion. It's quite a, a vast area, but the Côte, why we call it the Côte, Côte in French means slope. So you are on the slope of Saint Emilion, and and uh, it's got a beautiful terroir. It's got some clay, some limestone. Saint Emilion tend to use Merlot as a base. Of the wine, but it's a blend. So we also have some Cabernet Franc, which is quite important in our property because it's about 25 percent. 
and also a little bit of Cabernet Sauvignon with not, uh, not every property will have Cabernet Sauvignon and I think for me it's what also defines uh, Blasek as a, as, as, as a property. So yes, great, great, uh, great property, good vintage with a little bit of edge also. I think it's interesting because it shows a secondary character of the wine. And, uh, and I know in Hong Kong also we are doing, we are doing very well with the wine. So it's present in a, in some, in some great establishment, like a... This is a good place to share this And I think a lot of you do the code is the code is the code So the characteristics you can taste in the code is the same as the code That's why this is like this I not Next, most you don't buy Okay, I said don't don't laugh so quickly. Huh? We're giving her the next one. Oh my god! By the way, just a quick word on vintages. Um, <laughs> you know, everyone talks about good vintage, da, da, da. and uh, for example, 08 is not. You know, you when you look it up, no one says it's a phenomenal vintage Correct, for yeah. for a lot of areas in Europe. You know, it's uneven, it was cold, all this. Stuff. But one thing to remember is, go to a really solid producer, and sometimes you can just ask someone in a shop or ask someone in a restaurant because. Um, that's where you find really special gems is um, in tough times people really were very careful and they still make beautiful wine so this is this is one great example um, 08 was was fairly difficult for a lot of people in certain parts of Europe all right we're gonna jump right. now jumping to the next jumping one. to the next one I was gonna say really quickly since we took so long on the first one yes I look. took so long no 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 it's okay you're warming up <laughs> So we're doing it, blinding her on a second bottle now. Also arranged by Dimitri. I'm going to say it's also red. It took me five <laughs> minutes to get there last time. And this is younger than the first one. I'm just going to say I'm looking at it. I haven't put my nose in it yet. Very good. Why is it red? Because it's red. Why is it red? Because it's red. Why is it red? Because it's red. Why is it red? Why is it red? Because it's red. Why is it red? Why is it red? Why is it red? As Dimitri said, this becomes a database. Mm -hmm. Like a phone here, find you, okay? How fast he between the first and the second Hong Zhou? He already can see the color, the viscosity, and how he can make the wine so pretty. Why? 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 And just purely by color alone, I can tell you that uh, you know it's it's not Pinot, it's not Gamay, it's not something like that. And just on the nose alone, just on the youthfulness. Look at Dimitri; looks very serious. Yeah, he's he's like <laughs> mentally marked. I'm studying. I'm studying. I'm studying. <laughs> remember, remember, it's still early for me. I'm Saturday morning, so <laughs> the best time to taste. <laughs> I know, I know. But while she's doing that, you know, movies. Do you really, so Psalm, I watched them all. Psalm, Psalm into the bottle. What is your favorite wine movie? Um, probably a good year. Russell Crowe. Mm. Ah. Like it's, 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 I mean, it's, di it's different. It's not, it's not an educational movie like, uh, like some other can be. But uh, yeah, I, I, I enjoy the movie. I like it. I like bottle shop. That's I guess, I guess that's when I just started to get into wine. That's why when it came out. I, I like sideways. <laughs> and that was translated. Another uh, that was also shot in Japanese as well. The whole thing took place in Japan and Japanese, and it was like also very beautiful. Too very good. So, so oh yeah. Yeah. Like, oh yeah. They, they copied. They didn't they copy. Did. They actually took the rights for it. Like oh, they got okay. it and they did the whole movie in Japanese. I like that. Okay, I didn't know that. Okay. Yeah. Okay, that's. I'm I'm buying you time here. Hmm. Okay, so. Well. <laughs> um. So. It's a lot of pressure. Guys. Um. Okay, I right. think I think it's a, you know, just for fun. Like I'm again. <laughs> blind tasting is a. It's a really good party trick. Um, <laughs> it's it's okay if you don't get it right. <laughs> Very okay. Um. But for me, this reminds me of um. Of like a. Wait, one, just one second. I can't do it, actually. The country is very difficult. The country is very difficult. The country is very difficult. Because I was just saying that I... 
New world, old world, yes, but when you start getting to the vintage, it, it gets tough if you're out of practice. And, of and it's like a lot of pressure when you're doing it live like this. Of course. Oh, 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 one, oh, one, oh, one of the oh, things oh, is very important in wine also is the, is the temperature, the service temperature. And a lot of people don't, uh, don't, put in a, don't, don't sometimes put enough attention to it, but uh, that can really transform. I mean, at a dinner party, if you want a one day to have fun, it's uh, have a bottle of wine and serve it at two different temperatures. And, and even if you've never done it, you know, do it at home because you will, you will really see and, and, and often you know, use things and it can be a different wine. So temperature is crucial in the service of wine also. So always remember temperature, it's, uh, it's important. Um, anyway, I think that this is either like a super young version, like a really modern oaked version of the very ripe year of, of what we had, or this could be like a new world South Australia wine. Um, it's, uh, but it's definitely warm. Um, it's higher in alcohol than the first one. Okay. Um, it's definitely much younger. Um, the tannin structure is, uh, um, it's also so quite. Cool. It's also quite coating, actually. Hang on, I just. This is good. How? Then, I'll let her eat it. Yeah. And while she's guessing, I'm I'm going to fulfill my palate as well. I'm super rusty, but this is fun. This is perfect. And, and, and perfect match. Yeah. <laughs> perfect. I match. think it's. I, I think it's great. I think you can show show us the button. I think you've done good. Ready? Yeah. She got the new. I mean, Yes. Give her that. Big cannons. Young. Yes, right. Yes. Young. Not, not new world. She said, she said, new world, young, and, and definitely a grape with some concentration with Cabernet Sauvignon based wine. So, totally okay. right. This one was tough, I think. This is very tight. Yes. <laughs> so, that's so the why? Very, very so different nice. from the first one. Okay. Big, that's big and warm. Hey, thanks for. I should have guessed. <laughs> Thanks. <laughs> Thank you. We didn't know what we're eating either, but this, is, this was of crazy. course. Yes. Yum! Thank you. Yum. What a really gratifying wine. Cheers. Cheers. Thank you. Santé. That little yeah. So it's from Sonoma, which I love Sonoma. I did Chardonnay from there. Very bold, like you said. Right, ripe, ripe red fruits, red plums. Blend. Would you, why don't you explain, or would you like to express this wine to us? I mean, a, fa a fantastic property uh, created in 1998. It's all about the micro philosophy of Pierre Seillon, the winemaker, who's a French winemaker. And it's about blending different parts of Sonoma to really build the archetype of wines that he wants. So there is three different cuvées. This one is called La Joie. So it's a Cabernet Sauvignon based wine uh, mm -hmm. with a little bit of Merlot and, uh, and Petit Verdot at the same time. And uh, it's one of the iconic property of, uh, of, of California now. I mean, they've been very lucky uh, throughout, I mean, throughout their history in terms of, uh, of, of score, in terms of uh, uh, yeah, uh, the, the, the sort of the ratings and they've had probably the most rated property in terms of 100 pounds per pound by Robert Parker in the last 20 years. So uh, great, great, fantastic property. Probably in between, it's a, it's a, it's a great wine because it's a, for me, a lot of people, when they think about California, they think of Napa and, mm. and Verite for me, because it's based in Sonoma, we are closer from the, to the Pacific Ocean also. So having more influence from the Pacific Ocean in, in terms of, uh, of, of interference and, and uh, probably a good region between what you find in Napa and what you find in Bordeaux, because you've got definitely the ripeness of fruit with there because you are in California. But you've got also that sort of pencil shaving character characteristic with with true to Bordeaux. And um, if if people you know sometimes think Californian wine is too much for them, go and look at Sonoma because it's really a beautiful area. And 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 Verite is truly a fantastic wine, so a great property. I love you how so you much. yeah. I think you, I love how you went one side and the other side. That you know yeah. we've got a bit of Bordeaux, we've got a bit of France here, we've got um, we've got US here. There's, a, there's an elegance here, but like yeah. there's a dustiness that you don't get yeah. in a lot of Napa blends, which is, which is a little bit more kind of emulating, I think. How many, how many bottles of this, because uh, you said it is, is a micro-cuvée, right? How many bottles of this is it? 
Oh, it's, it's a few thousand bottles who are produced of each of the cuvées. But uh, in terms in term of quantities, it'd be much smaller than, the, I don't know, a top chateau from Bordeaux, like Chateau Latour. Or, because you know, what's great about today is that it's really about sharing and learning. Um, mm. Sorry, yeah. And, and the fact that from the rosé to the two reds, very different flavors. And I think that the best part about it is just this tasting and the sharing side of things. I think that I think a lot of people would appreciate this. So, I can see how Joy see how la, I can wine how la, because I already have over us. If you tell me what you want, you want to see. This is for everybody out there. What is your favorite wine under 75 US dollars? Well, coming, coming, if we're talking in dollars, uh, we're talking what Californian wine? Anything. Or, or from anywhere. Anywhere you think a good value for money, like 75, because 75 is, you know, with tax and everything, it's going to get, it's very easy to hit 75. Mm. <laughs> <laughs> that's about Samba, as they got, see about Yamana. No, that's, that's more like. Five five hundred Hong Kong dollars. Are we talking about in a restaurant? Are we talking about not in a restaurant? Just, just because in yeah, a restaurant is different. Yeah, you know, I'm I'm going to give a very basic answer. I think I think it's all depend what I'm uh, looking for. You know, it's all depend what time of the day I want to drink the wine, who I'm with. You know, the, the weather outside. So 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 it will depend. I mean, today. Today it's only nine o'clock, so it's a bit early to drink, and I don't really, uh, you know, test wine at nine o'clock on Saturday morning. Often. <laughs> so, so I mean, it's a good, it's a great start of the weekend for me. But I think today, um, you know, looking at the weather in the, in the UK, it's a very warm. It's going to be one of the warmest uh, weathers, and we will have probably thirty-five degrees out there. Uh, so I, I want something probably, you know, drier, crisper, fresher. Like I said, I'm, I'm from the Loire Valley sometime, you know, if it's a weekend to remind me of home, you know, a good bottle of Sancerre would be nice. <laughs> from exactly. Or something like that. <laughs> yeah, more, yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, what is your favorite wine region? Do you have one that's your soft spot? Oh, yeah. I have, I have a few. I'm, a, I'm an acid freak. I love, I love uh, high acid wines, so that means um, it could be Nebbiolo, it could be Pinot, it could be Riesling, Chenin Blanc, Chardonnay. I like wines with, I don't know, like, oh, a backbone. backbone. I say the same yeah. name, too, like, <laughs> and it has time to develop over, like, from the minute you sit down, can last. Oh, you got whole whole. So, I don't know, you got, I don't know, they say, they say, they say, they say, they say, they say, but this is direct translation. We yeah. really don't know what that is in Chinese. But, but wines, wines with um, there's like a, an energy. Um, I like a like a wine that kind of makes your saliva come into your mouth. You know, it's, it wakes you up and it makes you want to have another another glass. So my favorite regions are like Barolo, Barbaresco, Burgundy. You know, certain parts of uh, the Rhine. Places that start with a B are nice too. You <laughs> said every single. One. <laughs> <laughs> I love South, you know. New Even New just one, just one. <laughs> <laughs> I love the Loire Valley. I really yeah, do. Yeah, she said basically the entire wine world. Um, Thank you anywhere, very much. anywhere that's that can get a little bit cold, I quite, I quite like it. Um, mm. Or anywhere that produces wines with high acid. So, um, a wine that's under seventy-five dollars. Um, there is so much good There's wine so in the world, but but you know what? Um, okay, so let's see. In let's say Piemonte, which is a place that um, if you if you're a Barolo lover, you know that those prices are pretty expensive and um, they they really need time. But once in a while, you find a gem that's uh, not too expensive. So there's a there's an old school producer called Vira, and they actually do um, a Rosso blend, which is not usually something that's super impressive. But theirs is theirs is really tasty. Um, so look for the Vira blend. Um, I think some wines from South Africa. Um, if we're in the Cab Franc kind of family, I love rats. R A A T S. So you can't have any more. You already. You're, you're, you're going like two, three, four. I, She's gonna say half the cellar soon. I'm gonna. I'm I mean, uh, to come back to come back to what we were doing. Uh, yeah. I think Laseg, Laseg will fit into those sort of pricing. Right, but of wine. I mean, people have got yeah, the, the price in front of them. Sorry. I don't know how much it is. The uh, oh, yeah, Laseg. Now, Laseg. Laseg will be, I don't, I don't know, in Hong Kong, you will have to ask the guys over there, but uh, $75 is probably uh, yeah, a little bit more than that, but that will be that sort of uh, price. Yeah, the question I have to ask you, Mr. MS, is um, 
what is the most unusual pairing that you think works? I mean, for me, one of the pairing you've got a, you've got a cheeses in front of you, and uh, I think often people think of uh, having cheese with red wine. I love cheese with white wine. I think it's it's uh, some of the great uh, the greatest emotion in terms of food and wine matching. You know, uh, cheese and wine are white white wine and uh, and, and cheeses. You know, uh, all sort of uh, older style of Chardonnay with the hard cheese like. Uh, like Comté or Montgomery uh, Cheddar from uh, from the UK or uh, a Mimolette, you know, uh, I, I think it's uh, it's great, fantastic. Or if people have never tried, uh, uh, I don't know, a Comté and a Vin Jaune, you know, it's it's part of those classic food and wine matching and and, and white wine and cheese. Okay, that's probably going to be my answer. <laughs> okay, I have one last question for both of you. Mm. If you could drink one wine for the rest of your life, what would it be? I really like the question. If you could only drink one wine for the rest of your life, what wine would it be? I'll be very unhappy. <laughs> <laughs> I'll be very unhappy. 我问佢哋咧，如果只可以饮一一支酒之后，即系去到即系唔唔咩啊？点样讲啊 ？For the rest of like a life, I do that. 嗯，即系中文啊，即系一世人，你只可以饮一支酒咧，你会系。飲咩啊？飲邊支？佢咧就話佢已經係好唔好彩啦。如果係咁樣樣嘅世界 ，you'll be you'll be unhappy because if you, I mean, even if the wine has got an evolution, if you've got to drink it every day,、uh, <laughs> and, and that and that can be that can be, you know,、uh, no no price point, no price point. I mean,、no、even if one of the most expensive wine in the world, it'll be complicated because. Because then, after you will be looking forward to something different. So, so I think I'll be sad. I think I'll,、uh, I'll be very sad <laughs> if I pick only one bottle of wine. Can instead of just one wine, could it be like one region? Wow, one region, 好多酒喎，但系 one region, one region, one region. Dimitri, can you do one region? Because then you can do Loire Valley because you have everything. This is true. Education, ah. But yeah, they could be all red, 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 white, pink, sparkling, <laughs> sweet, dry. Sure, sure, sure. I mean, one of the most diverse regions in the world. So, it's, it's <laughs> so what they, they, they read my question. Now they, they bring it from one bottle to what about one region? They 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 how so let? They they know which region? They have all the red, white, pink, sparkling, sweet, dry. Okay, we've got to go because we're totally over time. But if you guys want to come back and listen in and、um, take notes, ah, can. After that, we will take some pictures and 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 take some pictures. YouTube. You have a lot to help you. I just want to say thank you so much. Thank you so much, both Ron and Dimitri. Cheers. Cheers. If you have any more questions, great to see you both. Email him. <laughs> yeah. Everybody, email Dimitri about Master Somali. Okay. Don't email、yeah. this side because I don't know anything about it. I'm learning. But you can.、Bye. You can. No problem. Hopefully, see you soon in Hong Kong. Yes. yes. Have a great. Have a great weekend. Have a good day.、Bye. Bye. Bye.